I'm Dr. Randy Neal, and I teach people to keep moving forward. In today's video, we're going to talk about vision boards. More specifically, how to make an effective vision board so you can turn those dreams into reality. Now we have five steps. Number one, create from a place of gratitude. Before you start making this vision board, which I'm not going to really cover how to cut stuff out of magazines or anything like that, I'll let you kind of decide how you want to create it, whether you pull stuff from the internet onto something. It's more about the steps and the understanding of how a vision board is effective. But step number one is you got to create from a place of gratitude. So when you wake up in the morning, be grateful for the breath that you, that you take. Throughout your day, you know, kind of, kind of shoot out some gratitude towards others, even though it may not feel uh, familiar to doing that. When you're in traffic and it's too slow, then I want you to make sure that you say, you know, be thankful for that experience because perhaps it's putting you in the right place at the right time. So, step number one is make sure that you create from a place of gratitude, a, a state of love. You know, essentially being in a state kind of in one with God. Step number two is I want you to. Find a picture of your young self, kind of as an early childhood, between five and maybe eight years of age, in that in that time frame, and I want you to place that on the corner of your vision board. Now, this is the the vision board that I've had, uh, or it's my version of a vision board. And so, in that sense, pretty much in the bottom corner, I want to put put a picture of yourself in there. But it's yourself as an early child, early childhood kind of uh, kind of time frame. And there's a, a purpose behind that because when you, you know, as you're going through this and you're, you're trying to, you know, create, don't be so hard on yourself. You know, life is tough, and so you're gonna, you're gonna be able to look at yourself and actually kind of talk through it and to tell yourself, you know, you, you deserve what's on this board. You know, it's coming toward us, and it's to, it's to know that there, there's that inner, say, child in you that maybe had a difficult upbringing and it's and it's more about saying that you're worthy and you deserve what's on this board and it's going to kind of get you refocused because because many times we when we run into trouble you know we, we get into that lonely dark place where uh, we don't deserve it and then you just go down this deep dark hole so having that 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 picture of yourself on there is really going to kind of kind of tone you back in and, and get you reframed as to as to what's really important and it'll, it'll actually help forward the process and actually quicken the process for all this to occur. Step number three is going to be you got to get into the feeling state. Now after you create your your board, vision board or, or whatever you want to call it, dream board, vision board, but after you create this I should be able to, to, to be with you in that and, and to you should be able to tell me a story of what each picture represents to you because pictures by themselves they, they mean nothing there's got to be something behind the picture there's got to be a, a, a feeling with it and it's that feeling that if you can maintain that feeling if you can hold that feeling inside it's going to raise your vibrational energy and essentially raise a vibrational match and then that's when you kind of the, you know, the term manifestation happens is when you can actually uh, maintain that for a while and then stuff will come move towards you so, but, it's, but it comes from a, from a feeling state, not just a seeing and saying, oh, well, great, it should just happen now. I put it on paper and I, I believe it. No, it's that feeling inside. And so the best way, the quickest way to obtain that is to, is to tell a story to somebody. Is that when you create something and you say, okay, this is from an aspect of love, there's a picture of a, of a couple on there, it, explain what that means to you. When there's something that with career, perhaps there's something on there with money. What what does that what does money really do for you? What does that mean to you? And then make sure there's something on there that's for adventure. And then as you as you explain that, you know, get excited about it. Because it has to come from a place of feeling. Step number four is gonna be be still. Because once you connect to this, and, and, and I've stressed this in other videos, is you got to connect to Source. you got to connect to God. Because as you believe that everything that you're, you're doing and achieving is moving you closer to your true purpose in life, you have to be still and listen to the signs. Uh, and, and I can't stress that enough because it's, it's a, there's a difference between who you are now and who you are meant to be. And this vision board, the whole purpose of this vision board is to move you closer actually in that direction. And so as you, as you work it, as you believe it, you have to sit back and say and, and express thank you and express gratitude uh, you know, to God and say thank you for allowing this to come into my life. Thank you. I, I know it's moving closer 
closer to me. It's, it's on the way, it's here. And again, it's getting back in that feeling state, but it's to be still and listen to the signs because you have to perceive even the struggles in life. They're really not struggles. They're just kind of God kind of nudging you in a, in, a, in a slightly different direction to move you closer from where you're at now to actually where you're meant to be. And step number five is say thank you. And this is probably the easiest prayer that you can ever state because, you know, at night when you're struggling, I don't care if it was you're struggling to get over someone in a relationship, say you had a bad day at work, say, you know, things just don't feel like they're moving fast enough for you, you got to maintain that level of energy, you got to raise that vibrational energy. And the, the best way to do this is just to repeat over and over is just to say, thank you, you know, and then you can follow something up with that. Thank you for this. Thank you for the breath. Thank you for this pillow. Thank you for this. You know, you fill in the blank. But if you can just keep saying thank you, it, you'll you'll see those little changes in your life. And, and this and this this vision board, you know, it's just a bunch of like we said before. It's just a bunch of pictures on paper. But you're gonna place meaning to them. You're gonna you're gonna get into a state of feeling. You're gonna tell that story about the board. You're gonna be still and you're gonna, you're gonna allow the changes to occur in your life and believe that it's moving you closer to actually who you're meant to be. And then, you know, at the very end, just continually say thank you for everything that comes into your life because it is a blessing. And if you firmly believe that what you're doing has a purpose, it's gonna move you toward your actual true self. And then that's where that, that, that piece of happiness actually comes from. So if you like this video, uh, hit like, hit subscribe, leave a comment below. But uh, you know, I've, I've used vision boards myself and this was one that was made pretty much, I think probably about eight or nine years ago. And what I did with mine is instead of making a true vision board or a picture, I made it into a, like you'd hang in your car, like the, it's in the, like a rear view mirror thing because I spent a lot of time in my car driving to and from places. And so I could maintain that, that, that vision, that, that picture and, and really hold that because the longer I hold those pictures and the, those dreams in my mind, the higher my vibrational energy was going to be. And I can tell you from, from where I was then to where I am now is, is light years. And I'd say a lot of it is attributable to, you know, what I believed and what the work that I put into this. So that's just one idea uh, is to make it into some type of hanging thing you can put in your car that you can always see and, uh, and own it. Uh, I had people get in my car saying, what is that? And that gave me an opportunity to kind of explain, you know, what I was moving towards. And I can tell you that I pretty much hit every dream that was, that was on here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you hit, if you did hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. All right. So this is the part of the video where I kind of explain my personal experience with, with, with this. And, you know, with the vision board, I made this in about 2009 or 2010 ish, many years ago. And, you know, I, I, I always kind of kept it because it, it, it uh, you know, it's kind of life changing per se, or it, was, or it was during a period of my life where there was a lot of change going on. So the, just the idea that I, I use this and, and where I'm at now versus where I was at then is, is, is night and day, Can't, not even in comparison. Uh, but on there, you know, I put some things like as far as like the dolphins and, uh, and I was living in middle America at that point. And, and travel and relationship and money. And you know, right now I'm traveling in the morning time. There's a nice stretch of road between Pensacola Beach and Navarre, Florida, uh, that it's just absolutely, you know, there's a sunrise directly ahead of me. Uh, so when it comes to where I'm at and, and far as career, uh, location where I'm living and relationship, things are going extremely well. But this really helped keep me focused, uh, uh, keep my focus per se. Um, it kept me focused on you know what was important, where I was going, and you know when you're you're trying to put in the work to get to that point, it's nice that you can keep re being reminded of, of, of why you're doing it, what's your purpose, you know, what's your why for behind all this, and so that's really why this vision board comes in handy. And again, having it in the car always kind of uh, was. Um, it, it allows you to kind of tell that story. You know, when someone got in there, they knew you were kind of zeroed in on some stuff. And now, when I use the word vibrational uh, energy, you know, that's more of a, you know, it's kind of an out there concept, but uh, all that really means is that the science hasn't caught up to it yet. And that's just making sure that, you know, I'm a firm believer that, you know, where you're at, 
you know, where you're at currently is just, you know, it's, it's a, you know, it's basically a manifestation of what your thoughts were in the past. So maintaining a high level of your thoughts, you know, staying away from the negative conversations and negative energy, the negative, you know, negative people in your life, kind of get those out of your life. You can, uh, you know, you can maintain a higher sense of uh, vibration. So then you'll have that vibrational match come into your life, whether it's in love, money, relationship, um, and, and such like that. So it's mainly just a matter of trying to say, here's where I'm at. If I do the, if I do the correct things, if I'm moving in the right direction, I'm going to kind of move myself up on that vibrational energy ladder per se, and then I'll attract exactly what I'm trying to um, accomplish. So. That's kind of my take on it. It, it really worked for me. Uh, I like the idea of putting it in your car, but everybody's different. Uh, just make sure it's visible, something you can use continually, and make a, make sure that you uh, give it some meaning. You know, get back to that feeling concept that we talked about. Uh, I, can't, I can't stress that enough. And, uh, and just own it. Be proud of it. So that's all I got for this video, and I uh, hope, you, hope you liked it. Uh, leave a comment. If there's anything I can help explain with that, I'd be happy to help you.